Hello there. My name is David Wood Sr. and I, along with my sons, David Woods Jr. and Devin Woods, would like to invite you to join us for the next half hour as we present Dayton People. Now it's a reality show that showcases people like yourself going about their everyday activities. So now, sit back, relax, and enjoy the program. Hello there, this is David Woods Jr., producer of Dayton People. Dayton People is a reality show of women in Dayton, Ohio, going about their everyday activity. The show was created by me, David Woods Jr., my father, David Woods Sr., and my brother, Devin Woods. We would like for you to also check us out on YouTube and also check us out on other stations like the Christian stations and other stations. So we would like for you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the program. Thank you. Well, Bear, I'd like to take this time to invite you and your family to join me for Dayton People. And I, along with my son, Devin Woods, would like to introduce you to some of the people of the Dayton area going about their everyday activities. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the program. Oh, let the ladies know how it is for you the ladies man in a brand new car. Yes, it's, it's a brand new car. car. You see, he got him his own house because he was a General Motors worker. So he got us. Look at that ladies, the radio's factory made, 2012 car. Look at that, he ain't no poor brother out here. He done general motors work with them good benefits. Now he a preacher man, the ladies man, and dating people. See the seats. So when he have a baby with Kim Kardashian, Holla Berry, he can put the babies in the back seat. Yeah. Ain't nothing about this car, look like it's bootleg. This is all factory made. 2012 for those who ain't never been in a new car. See how that's the roof. Glass. Where are we about to head to now? We're uh, on West 3rd Street now. I don't live on the west side. This is what the west side look like. Plenty of business out here. We prosper. There's a uh, business right there. General Motors. Plenty of workers. You know the workers take off when they want to take off. Look like the gate closed and uh, look like grass all over the place. Is anybody working there? Uh, this is called uh, West Side of Dayton, Ohio. I believe that there, right now there's uh, a major layoff over there, but things are going to get better. That's right, because you run them off. Once I get in office and become the President of the United States, things will be a lot better. I'm going to put people... ...to see how the car look. People are driving new cars like the latest man of Dayton, Ohio. This ain't the 70s of Pippin no more. Daddy was never Pippin, he was a regular working man. But the latest man of Dayton, Ohio, and his son, the producer, the second latest man of Dayton, Ohio. And Mr. Cool Steve Jackson, the third latest man of Ohio. He paid for this car himself because he's the general motors worker. Me, on the other hand, my woman paid for it. But he got, he the latest man. Dayton, Ohio. We've been driving that new car. But the latest man, the Nissan 2012. You can't get no better than that latest. Asked when did you retire from General Motors? I retired in 1999. 1999. 
We're, we're about to pass West Town, the West Town Shopping. Still driving a new 2012 Nissan. It feels great. In your success, you get a new car like this. Yes, I'm hoping that, that many in our audience will experience this wonderful feeling that I'm feeling right now. To be in a brand new 2012 car, a Nissan. TV 992 for Minister in Warfare for the Lord. So, how was the tour of the city of the ladies' man that they behind your new car? 2012. I really enjoyed it. You feel you? Was it all worth it to be? And show them the button how you lock the door. Well, you take it like this, and it's locked. Can't get no better than that. Mm -hmm. Be signed. Wow, what a car. Two thousand, even the rims look good. So ladies, you're gonna ride a car with the ladies, man. He's a man. The ladies man of deep know how. We'll take the route, the route to show. Yes. It keeps us busy, that's keeps us very busy. Yeah, today's topic is about the welfare man surrenders. The you welfare know? man surrenders. He surrenders, because he found out the economy so bad. They can't get a job out here and he looking for a woman to take care of him. So women, y'all said y'all want equal rights. The man's are waiting for at the welfare office. We look for women with PhD qualities, master degrees in everything. A, a doctor ain't a lawyer. We don't want to go to work. We want to put our crusty feet on your couch. Make sure you sweep the floor. Tell us we the boss and say you love us and we say, woman, give me my money. You have high expectations don't you high expectations because the women said they want equal rights right well, back in the day the man had to go out here and work you know like you do in the day and take care of the kids mm -hmm. now there ain't no jobs out here that's true and the, and the welfare man he looking for a phd woman see he can get him a woman at the welfare office like him but he tired of them bed bugs because he he tired of having roommates in the house he thought that that was good enough for him her and now they got an extra roommate the bed bugs <laughs> in the house he wake up a bed bug said how you doing he had enough neighbors Cockroaches all in the kitchen. He get tired of that. I'm gonna give me some baloney. That baloney is gone because the cockroach took it. Cockroach drunk the milk. Where the milk in the car? The cockroach got it. Have things gotten that bad? That bad. Even water bugs start coming. I ain't supposed to see no water bugs in the winter time. They be out there in the winter time, freezing, frozen like this. Well, I'm, I'm really surprised that it's gotten to that point. It got to that point. So, like I said, ladies. We looking for a PhD woman, the man at the welfare office. We got our side up, we surrender. We got the white flags that take us on. And even that the man that just got out of prison, he did 15 years of prison. Mm -hmm. He don't want to go out of prison, get out the door and nobody open him. He want a woman with a limousine to rescue him. Like officer and gentleman, he picked that woman up out her job, making $5 an hour. Mm -hmm. And the women class said, thank God, that man got her out there. We want a woman to do the same. There was a woman with a uh, lawyer. 
to get it. Then when he get out of prison, yes, he want his lawyer. Brother, he want his woman. Like he about to do five years in prison. Mm -hmm. He want his lawyer to win the case, get him out of prison, fall in love with him, take care of him, tell him he ain't got to work for the rest of his life, and she pay all the bills. And he fall up, say, woman, you got you do that. This is a secret. If you talk about a man's gonna cheat, you ain't gonna have to ever worry about a man cheating on you. He be like, you can tell him to come home at nine o'clock. He be at home at nine o'clock. A man got to pay the bills. He said, man, I ain't go, I'll pay all the bills. I'll get there when I get there. She called you at 9 o'clock. I said, I'll get there at 1 o'clock in the morning. You got a woman paying all the bills, buy you a new car, paying for you to have George, paying for me to get a haircut too. Shoot. That woman could look like Grace Jones. And I'm like, I'm in love. This is what's wrong. I said, I love her. She could look like, she could look like, oh, like dragon woman. You mean even Grace Jones? Grace Jones mm -hmm. would have a shot. She would have a shot. She pay all the bills, and I ain't got to go to work, and I can sleep all day. Do that you know who I said? Grace, Grace Jones. Grace Jones. Oh, okay. As long as she pay all the bills, I'm happy. The welfare man happy too. But we prefer a beautiful woman like Halle Berry and Janet Jackson. That's what our dream is. Like oh, the women got their dream. Yes. So all the beautiful women that look like Halle Berry out there in Dayton, Ohio, you got you a good job making ninety dollars in a year or hundred dollars now. You you got your house. You might get you a couple kids. Tell your baby daddy don't come by. You want the welfare man. He said, what'd you say? I want the welfare man. He'd be on this green machine bus. We'd be out there coming out there with a pick a side. said, we looking for him with a PhD to rescue us. So when you say the welfare man, mm -hmm. you're speaking of yourself then. Yeah, I'm the welfare man too. Oh, I'm, okay. I'm poor too. I might be working, but I'm poor. When I look at my check, I look at that door right back in the trash can. I say, I know I didn't work for this. This is all I got. Women said, okay. and then women got nerve to look for potential. I said, I got potential. I make less money than you. They look at me that discouraged. Look. I said, how many women gonna look at me discouraged? Look. First they look at me like, oh, he looks so cute. Then when I talked to her, show my check, she said, oh no, my brother, we gonna be friends. Give me a bootleg CD. I said, I got a job, woman. I'm trying to see you know, when you ain't when you ain't working, woman wants to see potential, right? Yes. So I said, I'm a movie maker. She said, What you a movie maker? I said, I'm the bootleg man. I'll be the man holding the camera, and the camera fall down, and then the movie fall off. I said, I don't hold the camera, I just go on the internet make and you can make the movie day movie like that. So you make bootleg movies. Yes, but I'm not the guy filming in the movie theater, so don't mean thinking the police saying, oh, in, oh okay. you the man no. Go on there and that and then you can get off there. Mm -hmm. Whoever sells still in the movie in there, there, I don't know who it is. Oh, or okay. you know, the bootleg movies of music. Mm -hmm. They look at the bootleg man, I say, I make big money, girl. She said, What do you mean? I say I make I got bootleg movies of the D V D cost a dollar each, right? I sell four of them. I said, I'll give you three, four dollars. So that mean I gain a dollar. So I make a dollar a day on the bootleg tip. And she looked at me with that discouraged look. I said, you know, we go to the Dollar Tree store. We can go to the Family Dollar. I get that name for a dollar some soap. I gave them soap for a dollar. I might not have the 10 cents. I might have come out pocket no 10 cents, but I got the dollar. Okay. And then I got the food stamp cup and the welfare car. And we be welfare together. But you know what? I want a woman to take care of me. I'm just tired of struggling. I'll be the first volunteer ladies. The ladies man of Dayton, Ohio. I see. At the welfare bus. See, I'm so broke, I got to ride a bike. I don't even, even ride, catch the bus no more. I can't afford no bus tokens. I'm looking for my woman to pay for it. I just ride my little bike all over there. It be zero degrees. I'm riding my bike up my woman's house. No, I want a will. The welfare man want a woman to take care of. So ladies, if you don't want a man to cheat on you, you go ahead and pay all the bills. Tell the man he ain't got to work. He can put his crusted feet on your house. Put a crown on his head. Say, 